He is Nick Wright, our good buddy from First Things First on Fox Sports, co-host of uh, that show on Fox Sports 1. He's got his top 50 players of the last 50 years. And I mentioned, as a tease telling you that Nick was going to join us, that Michael Jordan is third on the list. So one and two have yet to be revealed, but it's either LeBron Kareem or Kareem LeBron. So explain your rationale here, Nick, with your top 50 players. Okay, my listen. I want to be, I don't want to do a LeBron Jordan thing because we've done that before. You know, I, it's, it's been a topic on the TV show a couple times. I more want to talk about Kareem and the idea that Kareem deserves to be in this conversation. If in any, if we were to say, okay, take the guys who are candidates for the greatest of all time in, in any sport. And it's like, Hey, one guy has, as many champion, nobody has more championships than him of the GOAT candidates. He has scored the most points or goals or runs, whatever the sport is, of all the candidates, in fact, of everyone in history, and has the most league MVPs of everyone in history. It would not be controversial to say he should be in the discussion. So if it's a three-person discussion, someone who might be the greatest ever is going to be in third place. That is just the, the definition of it. And so people got mad that I put Jordan there. I Jordan's pinnacle his peak one could argue was higher than anybody else's however the second place on that list might be Shaquille O'Neal so why is Shaquille O'Neal not in the top five top six top seven he didn't do it long enough Kareem has more seasons where he was a top five MVP vote getter than Michael Jordan has seasons he has 15 times the guy was top five MVP Kareem so everyone says Oh, Nick, you you know, you, you take shots at Jordan. Don't you know when Jordan was 38 years old, comes back to the league and averages 22 a game for the Wizards. Kareem at 38 years old, won MVP of the NBA Finals. Jordan at 40 years old, averaged 20 points per game. Kareem at 40 years old, averaged 22 points per game in the NBA Finals. And so... I just think his overall NBA life, and we're not, I'm not even including, you know, if we want to go pre-NBA, Michael Jordan was a very good college player, good enough that, you know, people said, I'd rather have Sam Bowie. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar went 88-2. and two. And in high school, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar went 79-2. and two, And I'm told Michael Jordan got cut from his team. Now, I'm sure it was a very good team he got cut from, but Kareem wasn't getting cut. I just think Kareem has the better basketball life than Michael Jordan.